Hey guys, I just thought I would uh, let you know that we're going to do a package opening session for this uh, episode of Alchemy Journal. I just got this package in the mail. I've been waiting for it. It's um, from Amazon and it's going to be epic. It won't look like much. It's a medallion that I had picked up um, uh, from them and uh, the medallion is actually quite unique as that we'll see very shortly, but we have to do the whole opening of the package. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so silly. I know, how can I like make this stretch out longer than I need to, right? <laughs> should, should we go like this or, or just rip it? What should we do? What should we do? Okay, let's, let's just, uh, let's, um, oh heck with it. Let's just rip it. <laughs> I'm not very good at these. All right. And there it is. Oh, man, it's epic. That is beautiful. It's way more beautiful than I thought it was going to be. Oh, these guys are awesome. Okay, so I am going to show you what I got. It is way prettier than I had ever possibly could have imagined. Um, and then we're going to talk about this in a few minutes. It has everything to do with perspective and, and to recognize that... Um, you have to have a specific kind of knowledge in order to understand what you're looking at. And this is just one of those things. So, um, join me over here and, and we'll sit down together and we're going to take a look at what I just got in the mail. This little golden medallion. I think you'll like it. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, let's see. I've tried to get it so that the light would show you uh, what is on the front of this. This is a... Um, brass medallion and uh, on the front you can see that we have a um, let's see if I can adjust the light a little bit there uh, on the front you can see we have two stars and and then there's a cross in the center um, uh, or or a T or whatever you wish to designate that this is actually a cross um, and, and then we have a pentagram or pentacle, five-pointed star, and then around that, laid on top of that then, or underneath it, is a septagram, or seven-pointed star. And then around the exterior of the septagram are the uh, glyphs or symbols to signify the various planets in the zodiac. So we have the sun, the moon, um, Venus, um, we have Mercury, Jupiter, and uh, Mars over here, or I'm sorry, this one here is Mars, and this here is Venus. Um, so we have uh, feminine attributes at the top here of the pentacle and masculine attributes at the bottom relative to this perspective. Now, how do I know that I have this upside down? Well, one, when you wear it, oh, and you'll notice at the top we have a little MCM. I think this is a bit telling. Um, it could have the numeric uh, associations with the alphabet, so that would be 13, 3, and 13. Or this could be the Roman numerals, which then would be 1,000, 100, 1,000, which makes 1,900 when you read, read across like that. Um, and that is very possibly the demarcation point that uh, the ruling elite might view as the entrance point of the age of Aquarius. And given that um, our popular culture is embedded with Saturnian um, themes like time travel or vampirism or um, post-apocalyptic stuff. Uh, that gives you a sense then that this, and that all started around the turn of the 20th century. Anyway, then on the outside of this, one, la one additional ring on the outside then, we have the zodiac signs that go around. And then we, we have um, a final series of elemental signs uh, corresponding to, um, and then on the very, very outside, we have um, the 360 degrees of the year divided into 30 degree uh, separations, or, or 10 degree separations, rather, in sets of three. Anyway, it goes all the way around. It's really, really beautiful. How do I know that this is upside down right now? Well, when you wear it, it will be hung like this, so then your perspective when you have it would be like this. Now, how am I absolutely certain that I'm right about this? 
The key is having an understanding of astrology and recognizing that the astrological wheel of the year, and this then is actually a clock, this amulet functions as a clock to let you know when you are within the great year. The great year is an astrotheological term relative to the uh, the uh, precession of the equinoxes, meaning the sun uh, moving through each one of these zodiac signs through a period of 24,000 plus years. Um, and that really is us moving around the galaxy, right? Ro complete galactic rotation. You know that this is the way to wear it because um, when carried, or you know that this is the way to observe it rather, because the zodiac moves in this order as it goes around. So we have Aries, then Taurus, then Gemini, then Cancer, then Leo. When you look at it this way, if you were to look over here and then count over the top through the zodiac, it would seem all wrong because now what we're looking at is Libra and then Scorpio and Sagittarius and then Capricorn, which which is showing you the second half of the year. The, the winter months is over here. Autumn is right here. Anyway, when you put it like this, then you can actually see the zodiac calendar as it is presented in um, uh, a uh, uh, astrological wheel. Um, it's showing you a natal chart, for instance. It's presented like this, with Aries over here on the left, and and uh, uh, Libra and Scorpio, or Virgo rather, and Libra on the right over here. So anyway, this is just, I just thought I'd share this with you. It's really, really cool. I'm really excited to finally have this. Um, you can get one if you want on Amazon. Um, they're not that expensive and obviously they come very pretty, very nicely shined. Uh, I, this is uh, essential for my particular work, uh, a tool like this. I view this as a tool. Um, because it, it helps me visualize as I'm, I'm working through understanding certain astrotheological concepts and, and wanting to present them to you, this then gives me a beautiful tool that I can carry with me where, whatever. Um, and, and it presents uh, beautifully. Also, the other way that you know that this is correct, and as opposed to this, remember I keep telling you the sun is standing in for Chokma as our um, immediate agent, as you, if you will, for, for chaos and whatnot. Um, and, and Saturn would be over here. This presentation uh, is showing you wrong. It's reversed. The sun here appearing on the right and Saturn on the left. When you turn it, now we have the sun on the left and Saturn on the right. This is how all this uh, esoteric stuff is done. It's, it's often encoded in some of the most simplistic terms where it simply takes a reorientation of your perspective in order to understand what it is precisely that you're looking at. This is the value that can be understood from the presentation of the Hanged Man card, where his inverted perspective is actually more accurate, because he sees things as they are rather than as we would like them to be. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was fun just to do and share with you, um, and I'll be talking to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.